Um, a lot of time our solutions come from the point of view of a teacher or a principal, not from the point of view of a student. And so I think that's what we're trying to do is, is actually um, have an understanding of, of what, 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 is, what does a student's world look like? What, what is that? And like, to be honest with you, our world um, from the student's point of view and learning from them. Uh, we really value student voice um, in the work that they're doing. And if, if you ever have a chance, there's a great article by um, Grant Wiggins. He shared of his daughter um, following two students for two days in a school. And, and she really struggled with uh, what school looked like from their perspective. And it, and it really actually caused them to, to cause her to think differently about how, what she was going to do moving forward. And I would really encourage any principal, any teacher to take that advantage of that. Because when we see school from the perspective of a student, that's when we start creating better ideas and, and actually doing something different. Uh, the main thing about how technology changed the way I learn is that a lot of the learning resources online are, they're available at any time, like 24 seven, you could go on and start off or continue learning. So what it did is that it made it so you could learn at any time that you'd like and at any amount of time, like any duration that you would like. So if I, always, if I had a few free minutes or, and I was interested in, I guess I taught myself how to code online and I would go on to Site Code Academy, and if I had a few minutes, you would go through just a lesson that wouldn't take long, but it's just, I think the important part is to keep doing something to learn, and technology makes it easier to just stay on track and to uh, make it more accessible to learn. Okay, awesome. It helps me because um, we are, a lot, like the textbook just kind of tells you basically what they want you to learn instead of what you are interested in and what you um, are curious about. And um, as like everyone's been saying before, um, it definitely helps you to kind of dig deeper than just kind of what the textbook tells you to do, because let's say there's something in the textbook that really doesn't make sense to you, you can just go on to um, the internet and you can really um, understand it more from the different websites. I think a great way to, to, to see what the student's voice is, you know, from a principal perspective, and yes, our principals do this at our school, but to actually walk into classrooms and talk to kids and saying, like, this, what you're doing right now, what's great about it and what's not great about it, and, and encourage that I don't get that constructive criticism. Um, my feeling is that the, the student voice piece is going to be even more significant than it was before when I walked into the conference today, I realized how much more of an impact that um, piece has in student success, but also in professional learning. So what we gain as far as what the students are telling us really helps us to know what we need to do to help them. Um, 21st century learners today, their world's much different than the way that a number of the staff members, myself, we learned in the 20th century. So we're kind of playing catch up in some ways, but we certainly want to create that balance. I think that's what resonated to me with me today as far as what the students had shared, that it shouldn't be one way or all another way, but that there is a balance. I think this institute um, really impacted. I think our main priority as school leaders is always student engagement and student learning. And I think the entire purpose of this institute was to increase student engagement and to help bridge the gap between the way that students learn outside of school and the way that students are learning inside of school. I think that we were able to connect and learn a lot about different technologies that will help bridge that gap, but we were also able to look at sort of the underlying pedagogical factors that will allow us to effectively integrate technology when working with students. 
Well, I think what has truly resonated with me through participating and sharing and discussing with my colleagues is that we really have to look at adapting our practices and really look at how are we engaging our students in the use of technology in the classroom on a daily basis. There is a wide variety of technology out there but we have to ensure that our students are able to access that technology because we know when we give them the technology, they are engaged in their learning, they're making rich and meaningful connections to their everyday life, and it truly transforms the learning taking place in the classroom. So we really need to focus on adapting those practices on a daily basis.